Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Java Press Manual Conical Burr Grinder. I really like this. I've been using it for a few days now, and it's very similar to another one that I have, uh, almost identical in fact. Uh, it could very well be that they are the same grinder and they're just private labeled. But in any case, I can attest to the fact that it just does a really great job grinding coffee, especially in the fine to medium range. Uh, once you get to coarse, then you start seeing some inconsistency in the grind, and that's common pretty much with every manual burr grinder that I've seen to date. Uh, and the reason for that is because the burr uh, begins to wobble a little bit in the very coarse settings. So it's really simple. It's uh, stainless steel construction. You do have a viewing window here, and that's on both sides, so you can see straight through it. And that just helps you see how much coffee has been ground. Uh, there's a top lid that comes off to allow you to put the beans into the hopper here. And when this is completely filled to the top, it'll hold about 35 grams of coffee. On the inside there, you can maybe see it's a kind of dark, and I don't know if my lighting will allow you to see that, but there's basically um, three uh, compartments, sort of. There's a plastic insert that divides the main compartment into three areas, and that just sort of helps separate the beans. Uh, if you're using a real oily bean, sometimes those beans can clump together and jam up, and uh, if that happens, then uh, you want to stop grinding, and sometimes just a little tap will help free that up. But the divisions there help keep the beans separated a little bit and helps prevent that and just sort of uh, assists in a more orderly flow of the beans into the grinder. Then the handle is pretty basic and simple. Uh, you just slip it onto the top. There's no nut necessary. Uh, I can honestly say I've never had this slip off while I'm grinding, although that's certainly possible depending on your technique. But uh, I uh, was kind of surprised at first. I thought this thing would be falling off all the time, but uh, the reality is that it just doesn't. So once you find your rhythm, uh, you just grind away until all the beans have been ground. And for my pour overs, which usually require me to grind about 20 to 24 grams of beans, usually takes me uh, at most two minutes, I think, to grind that amount of beans. Now, the finer the grind, the longer it's going to take. Now, I have done some test grinds here, uh, just so you can see the differences. I've prepared uh, a few different grind samples here to show you what the Java Press is capable of producing. But before I show you those in detail, I want to talk about the conical burr here. Now this wheel is how you adjust the different grind. And as you can see, when I adjust this to produce an extremely coarse grind, uh, you can see how the burr wobbles. And to a lesser extent, that wobbles when you're, when you're even dialed in a little bit. So this wobble is what's going to be producing the irregularly shaped pieces that I'm going to show you in just a moment. But to clean your uh, grinder, you do need to take this apart, and you do have to do that every once in a while. Now this does have a spring-loaded feature in it, which is great because that actually does help produce a more consistent grind and helps reduce that wobbling a little bit. But you take this off like this, and then you've got the ceramic grinder wheels here. Um, you can use uh, warm, soapy water to help get that uh, oils and grit off of there. You can also use a toothbrush to just very gently clean these. You do have to use a lot of care, though, because the ceramic can be chipped and can crack quite easily if this drops or if it hits something uh, metal that you know with any force whatsoever. They're quite fragile, these ceramic burrs. But uh, once it's cleaned, then you can just put it back together, uh, make sure it's dry first and then just put this on again. You may have to do a test grind with uh, six or eight beans just to dial in your exact grind again. Um, the grinds that I'm about to show you though, uh, this does have a click, 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 click. So it's about, um, I don't know how, maybe it's like a sixth of a turn or something, but you do get a click and that will help guide you if you want to go from a medium to a fine grind. You can get in the ballpark by just remembering how many clicks it takes to go coarse to fine. Um, so here are the grinds. This is the finest grind that I was able to get with the Java Press. I might have been able to get slightly finer than this, but uh, I didn't want to take the risk of having the burrs hit each other. 
That is the surest way to crack the burr. You don't ever want to go backwards, especially when you're doing a fine grind. And by backwards, I mean counterclockwise with the crank, because uh, if the burrs rub against themselves in the wrong direction, they will definitely chip and break. So you don't want to do that. Always just go clockwise. This is a very, very fine grind. It has almost a powdery appearance. And uh, this is probably as close to a Turkish grind as you'd be able to get. Moving on here, this is a fine grind, and I would consider this uh, a really nice espresso grind. Uh, again, it's very fine. It's not powder, but just a very nice, consistent, fine grind, which should make a good espresso. Now we're getting towards the medium range. Uh, again, we have a very nice consistency here. Uh, pretty, pretty good consistency. I can't complain with this at all. Now as we get to sort of a uh, medium to medium coarse grind, uh, you can now see we're getting some chunkiness developing here. Um, this is still usable. This is what I would use in my pour overs. Um, this isn't quite as coarse as I'd want to use in French press, however, but you can see that it's not quite as consistent. And here we have a coarse grind, and here we see a lot of chunkiness, a lot of different sized grains in here. We have fine mixed in with chunks. So this is the problem is when you're making a French press, which requires more of a coarse grind like this, uh, because the coffee has to steep for four minutes, you are going to start getting some bitterness from some of that uh, finer ground coffee in there. And that's really the, the uh, problem with most of these manual grinders is that because of the burr wobble, at a coarse grind level, you are going to get this inconsistency. This isn't exclusive to the Java press. It happens with most of the manual, small manual grinders. But once again, you can see we have all the way from this very, very fine, consistent grind to the worst case scenario, which is a very coarse grind with quite a lot of inconsistency. As long as you stay into the finer uh, to medium range and even medium coarse, uh, you're going to be fine. So after doing a, a grind, I usually just tap it a couple times. You don't have to slam it down very hard, but that's just to get all the uh, coffee off the burr and into your hopper here, into the uh, receiving cup, I should say. And, uh, and that's about it. So it's been very reliable, uh, low maintenance. About the only thing you have to do uh, periodically is just take this assembly apart soak the burrs and uh, you just want to be very careful with these because they are ceramic and if you drop them there's a very good chance that they'll crack uh, and then uh, the the best tip i can give you is do not ever uh, ever go counterclockwise uh, you don't ever want to run the burn burrs against themselves in the wrong direction they will definitely break at that point. And in fact, when you're grinding, if you ever uh, find that it, it abruptly stops grinding because something has jammed in there, just stop immediately. Don't try to go backwards or anything. Just immediately uh, loosen this up and see if you can get the obstruction out that way. But don't try to do it from the top. This works really, really well. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.